What's up everyone? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys had a great weekend and managed to go outside and fly your quads for sure. Today, I want to talk to you about three things. The first one is going to be about Beta Flight 3.4. The second is going to be about Beta Flight tips and filter settings. I will share a page with you in a bit. And the third one is going to be about props. Now, these three topics are obviously related, so stick with me so you don't miss anything, any of the steps. And uh, as usual, just before we start, guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do it right now. And uh, thanks for supporting us, and uh, let's go. Let's, let's do it. Okay, this quad that you guys are looking at right now is the Wizard X220. And I have had this quad for about 14 months now. And I actually learned how to fly FPV pretty much with this quad. And I had tons of crash. And I replaced a few parts already. Like you can see, it's a new motors. Um, my ESCs are all mixed up. Um, I changed my antenna. I changed my VTX. The camera is a run cam. And uh, props, of course. Uh, different props already. And uh, my point is actually to show you guys that even a quad like this that's been flying for more than a year um, still can fly pretty nice with the Beta Flight 3.4 and I will show you how. I will show you how to do it right now. All right, so if you're gonna flash uh, Beta Flight 3.4, which is a release candidate 2 now, um, you have to bear in mind that you're gonna have to spend some time trying and testing some new settings until you get uh, the, the quad to fly the way you want. But uh, okay, let's go ahead. If you see here, if you have a look here into the Beta Flight um, app, um, when you click here on the on flashing firmware, and then you you click here on the stable releases, you can see that that is a uh, you know what uh, the uh, the the three point four uh, release candidate one and two. Now, if you flash, for example, in this quad, which is SP Racing F three board. If you flash uh, the release candidate from here, from inside the from inside the the, the, the Beta Flight uh, app, you won't be able to activate some of the filters settings, which uh, you need to, to do to get the quad to fly um, pretty good. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into this page right here. When you open this page, which is the Beta Flight tips. I would suggest you to read all the information that is in it that is in this page because it's extremely useful and helpful and it's pretty transparent too. So spend some time reading all the information that's in this page and it's gonna make your life a lot easier. Now, as you can see here, when you screw down, if you read in details, you can see here um, that that is a 3.4 RC1 with the new features enabled for F3 um, instead of Acro Trainer that can be found in here. So when you click, you get to the um, hex files uh, of pretty much all the you know available uh, flight controllers in the market right now. So you go and find your SP Racing or whatever F3 board that you're flying right now. If you're not flying F3, for flying F4. Probably don't need to do this, but anyways, I'm just gonna show you. So you download your F3 board, SP Racing. So to go back to Better Flight here, you have to load your firmware local. And then after that, you flash firmware, and then you're going to be able to um, make the adjustments in the filter and, and uh, all the adjustments that are uh, into this page here. Now, you're going to have to spend some time um, trying, testing which uh, of this, these settings here will work best for you. Of course, every quad is different, but this is a good starting point, and that's how I managed to get my quad 99% uh, vibration or we call jello free, um, just by trying these settings here, which is the freestyle settings. Now, uh, I had to make some adjustments here which um, what was in the PIDs, so especially in the P, so I had to increase my P like 15 points more than the, actually what um, was suggested here. And I also 
had to increase my TPA breakpoint up to 1650 and uh, you know the rate up to as low as 10. Now, why did I do that? Is because one of the causes of the vibration is because my PI, my P's, they were too, they were a bit lower than um, supposed to be. So I had to increase the P's, and then when you increase your TPA, TPA will actually reduce the P values when you throttle up, when you increase your throttle, and you you are actually want to increase your your your, your P values. So you have to be careful with that because sometimes some people suggest you to increase your TPA when you are having mid throttle vibrations or oscillations, but actually it's not really what you have to do. That's not the first setting you should be playing with. Instead, take the quad, go for a short flight, um, record the flight, or pay attention to how the, the quad is reacting through the goggles. If there is any vibration, try increasing your, your P's by five points and see if, if the vibrations are getting lesser and then from there you can make the adjustments to get rid of those uh, jello in the footage cool so that, that's my tip in better flight and um, well I was supposed to talk about props right so I'm gonna talk about props I'll go back let's go back to the quad here now um, one of the things I was trying to do is I was trying to fly this quad with different sets of props. I have a bunch of different props here. I have um, 5040s, um, 5043s, and um, 45s, and etc. And uh, some are racer stars, and some are, you know, um, King Kongs, and etc. And my idea was uh, I wanted to try those props because I've been having these props laying around here and without any use. And I know that the props that I'm flying right now, which is the Dow's uh, 5046C, they're fantastic. They're just so good that I, I just don't feel like trying anything else. Anyways, I, I was trying, I was giving a shot to some new props which is the 5040s uh, King Kongs and uh, some 5043s Racer Stars. And even though I was still increasing my peaks and, uh, you know, checking my filters, I was still getting quite high amount of jello in my footage. And, well, that was just not going away, even though I was trying so hard. I spent a few days just trying to tune my quads and I was just not progressing much. So I gave up. And uh, I put my put my DAOs back, and immediately I had 99% jello free. So my point is, guys, if you don't have uh, these props, go ahead, buy them right now. Don't even think twice. You will never regret spending two or three dollars in a set of props like this, which is the DAOs. I'll put a link in the description for you guys. This is one of the best props you can get in the market right now. They are balanced, they, they are jello, 99% jello free. They are very light and very responsive. So if there is any prop I would recommend you guys buy is these props right now. Believe the hype, they are really, really good. You can try flying other props. You're gonna waste some time trying um, you know, to tune your quads and you're just not gonna get what you can get with these props so my advice to you guys is stop spending uh, money on cheap props get some real decent props and just gonna make your life a lot easier um i want to demonstrate to you one more thing is i had a crash on my quad and uh it, i was just i was i was was my first pack i was just starting to fly and then um i had a crash and uh I, it just blew one of my props away. That's why you can see here there's a uh, purple prop here because I, it blew my prop away. And I thought that I was just going to crash, but I, I actually managed to fly the quad back to where I was sitting, so I didn't have to walk. 
and um, surprisingly, because of Beta Flight 3.4 filters, the quad was flying back, but I still managed to fly back to where I was sitting, which is amazing. And the first thing I check is whether I had burner motor or an ESC, because you know I was just flying with three blades, I was just flying with one, and I was not. I just replaced my props, and then went flying again. Now there's a difference before I the crash and after the crash I was getting back my vibrations because I had a motor that was bent after that so I'm gonna have to make some adjustments in the filters again and uh, and go for a flight and see whether I can get rid of those jello again the other option would be replacing the motors but anyways I'll give it a try but I just want to let you know that better flight uh, 3.4 is amazing and if you are thinking of flashing it and giving it a try, um, go for it. I hope you guys can, can get an amazing experience as I'm getting right now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. I hope this video teach you something and you learned something today and you can apply. And uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.